Chris here from Island Basement Systems and today we're going to talk about closed cell versus open cell. We offer both types of foam and both foams are absolutely fabulous products. An open cell foam is a loose soft foam that does a great job of air sealing and it does a great job of insulating. A closed cell foam would typically be a harder more rigid foam that is also a vapor barrier. Inside of a crawl space if you have any heating ducts running through it automatically BC building code requires that your crawl space to be treated well basically like a short basement. The ducts emanate heat which means that they're warming your crawl space so the proper solution is to insulate the walls of the crawl space not the underside of the floor. The advantage with using an open cell foam primarily in crawl spaces is it's not a vapor barrier which means if the wood is wet which it commonly is in existing homes or if the exterior cladding is really old like it is in this 110 year old house we don't want to trap moisture in the rim joists or the wood framing of the home. By spraying the open cell foam directly onto the wood framing, what we're allowing to do is allowing the wood moisture that's within that wood to dry to the inside of the home. That's called inward drying potential. And on Vancouver Island, it's really important because it's so wet outside most of the year. If the wood rim joist is wet, and we spray a closed cell foam, which is a vapor barrier against it. We trap that moisture into it. Which way is that wood gonna be able to dry out in the winter time? Certainly not to the outside where it rains pretty much every day or it's very humid and damp. So we need to have that inward drying potential in a crawl space environment. And that's why we use open cell foams. Plus it's cheaper, it's greener because it has less chemical content to it. It's a water blown foam, which means it doesn't have the hydrofluorocarbons like the, the closed cell foams do. So there's a lot of benefits to a homeowner, but most importantly, it's so we're not having a dry rot problem happening down the road. In this crawl space here, we use closed cell polar foam soya as the answer to the crawl space issue. Standard crawl space, big flooding problem. They had lots of water coming in here. There's a cold crawl space and they have some heating ducts running through this crawl space that were losing all the heat to the cold air. The wood framing was very dry. The closed cell foam bonds quite nicely to the clean space liner, which then comes up and right up into the rim joists to provide a continuous air barrier, vapor barrier, and thermal insulation. Because we've insulated the walls of the crawl space, the ductwork is now warming the air inside the crawl space, which means it's warming the floor, so you have a more comfortable home because you're keeping the heat within the home.